Okay, listen up. So we are gonna start a printmaking project. I am not gonna be here on Tuesday. So this is what you guys are going to be doing for the hour. Um, I'm gonna have the sub pass each of you a piece of this foam. Be careful with it. You don't wanna put any indentions in it because that will show up in your print. That's how we get the print. We're basically making a stamp. And you can do one of two things. You can either do words with a bunch of line design. You could do your name or something um, or words. But there ha this has to be very detailed and have lots of line design. Or you can do a mandala, which I will need to grab off the table. Emma, can you grab my mandala off the table real quick? That foam piece? I don't know where it is. Um, okay, so when you get your foam, the first thing I want you to do is trace the size of the foam on a piece of paper in your artist journal. So you know the exact size and you know where your limits are to draw within. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to draw a design. If you go with, thank you. If you go with the words, I need you to do it in Sharpie. You can do it in pencil first, but then you need to do it in Sharpie because we need to be able to see it from the back side. So you need it to bleed through that paper. Um, you don't have to tape this on right away. I just have it taped on because I'm ready for the next step. So draw your whole thing. Um, again, I'm telling you like line design, line design. If you don't have any line design done, one, you're not going to have something to do all hour. And two, when I get back, I'm going to make you put more line design in it. So just do it while I'm gone. Um, if you want to look up the word Zentangle, which this video is, well, I can't write that anywhere. This video is going to be on... Um, canvas in an announcement for you guys on what you're doing that day but if you want to look up this word zentangle that'll give you so many cool patterns um to look up so anyway so i got my thing drawn i got it in sharp because i have words um if you do the words you're gonna tape your foam down on top of that image if you don't do words you can put it on the back side the reason for this difference is because whenever you make a print think about a stamp when you make a print you flip it over and print it. So everything's backwards. That's why if you do words, we need to trace what's on the back side, okay? So from this point, I'm just gonna trace all of my lines. Um, just make sure it doesn't get, um, what am I trying to say? Bent or anything. You can tape it down on both sides if you want. Okay. So I, all I traced was the M, but then you can see a slight indention here of what I traced and it's backwards. So then I can go back and you guys can use your pen for this that I gave you if you want. Don't use pencil. Pencil cuts this foam. Then you need to go back through and go over those indention lines because it needs to be like you can, well, if you want to just want to feel this freely, you can feel the difference in that this is just a little impression. This is like deep down, a groove down. If you don't have your grooves deep enough, it's not going to print very well. And then when I get back, I'm going to print with you guys. Another step you guys are going to do next class. So you're going to do your drawing and then you're going to get that drawing on your phone next class. And then you're also going to need to collect a bunch of papers that we're gonna print on and I'll have a list of that. I'll have a whole area set up with the paper to collect and all the ones that you need. You'll collect 20 pieces total. Mm -hmm. And those are the two things I want you to do next class. You guys have any questions? You can look this video up. It'll be, Abby's videoing me. Literally what I'm saying right now. Cool? Okay, that's it.